and gentlemen. How are you guys doing? And um, I'm very shy, actually. And I don't really open my mask around and then like talking with a lot of people. So because the theme is unfold and enlarge, so maybe I have to unfold a bit of myself, you know? So what I'm going to tell you today is a little bit about my identity and how do I do a big mural, the process of it. How do I sustain, which is how do I live uh, with financially with it? And lastly, how do I get creative? So I'm just going to share a little bit about my identity. Uh, as you can see, some people just cannot pronounce it well, like escape va or escape va or whatever it is, right? It just stands for escape visual art. So I started during my college days, uh, which is uh, I studied at Malaysia Institute of Art, Graphic Design. And uh, at that time, my friend just called me up like, hey, let's go to the skate park. We paint it at the skate park. So we go there. First day, I already get caught by the guard because we paint the skate park. So don't try this. So, yeah. and, then, um, and then when we, it became like a weekly ritual to me. Like every week, we just go paint on the walls every time. And until like years by years, people already been asking for me to paint for their walls. Hey, paint my walls. I'll pay for it. When you be a street artist or gravity artist, you have a code name. So that's why we choose a code name. Some people just choose dragon or tiger number one or whatever things. Like. So I choose escape. I thought it was cool at that time, but right now it's really hard for people to pronounce it, you know? And it's a common word. It's really hard to find on the internet. Like, if you type escape, it's going to come out uh, last or it just come up as a name. So I just put visual art in behind, so it became like escape var. So when you use hashtag, no one using it. It's really weird, but I just get like number one in the Google thing when you Google the escape var hashtag. So at that time, uh, when I made Instagram account, and I feel like, oh, it's going to be cool. I always want to be a ninja. So I just, okay, maybe I put my name Color Ninja there. And it became very serious when clients call me up. They just call me up like, hello, can I speak to Mr. Escape? And then I feel like, oh, this is getting very serious to me. I thought it's a joke around. Dear Color Ninja, can you come to our company for a meeting? We want to discuss more. So it became more serious, and I have to take myself seriously after that. You know? <laughs> I'm like, okay, everybody took it very serious. Okay. Then I just embrace it inside myself. The big mirror stuff, uh, this one that I'm going to show you is a project in Petaling Jaya. It's by the city council. And uh, first, this is all the step. It's just going to go through the slide, and I'm going to tell a little bit about the mural. So when we start meeting with the clients, um, they're just going to ask me what kind of thing that you want to paint. This is a parking lot in Petaling Jaya. I daydream a lot of things. So when I see a parking lot, I think it's where all the cars park there. I think it's like a bird guarding a nest. It tastes like egg. It's in on the nest, and the, the bird is guarding the nest. So they really like the idea of it, and I started painting it. So how I paint this, uh, we're using a skyleaf machine, which is like where you see people repair the lamp. The street lamp, they use that machine. Uh, they clean up the building, they use that machine. So there's a controller, like joystick thing. If you turn left, you go to the left. So I'm using, I'm controlling it, and I paint along with it. 
So if I want to paint at the left, I just move to the left, and I just paint to the left. So that's how I paint the, the mural, step by step. And then, the, the best thing about big mural is very prominent. So, uh, and what I love about big mural is the story behind it, you know? Like, when I done the mural, people been talking about it. All the city council also telling that, oh, this is all mural, actually, this bird is like watching people who doesn't pay for the parking ticket. So, <laughs> this is the thing that they really, and then like, so, it became like uh, something that people create about it. So, accidentally, I interact with the people, but I don't ever thought things like this will happen. And they even give a name of this mirror, like the bird thing, it's like, I'll be watching you. Because you don't pay for parking ticket, and I'll be watching you. So, but the title of the mural is Rodent Control, because some town, they, they just use owl to control the rat problem, you know? They just release the bird, and then they're just going to catch the rat around the city. That's some of the city using it. So that's the purpose of the mural also. And uh, as you can see, all the slideshow, these are all the jobs that I did. A billboard for a soft drink company. And uh, I just painted maybe four to five big murals in Malaysia itself. And I think this is a small part of it. So how do I sustain? Is a social media thing. So where, when you have a social media, everything is fast. And you have to work on your work. You just have to paint every day or you have to promote yourself. I have my Facebook account. I have my Facebook page. I have a Twitter, I have an Instagram, I have a YouTube channel. So all the timeless video that you see, I just post it on my YouTube channel. So when people go to the, my channel, they can see all my timeless video. If I travel, I just get back to Bangkok and Manila for an event. Uh, it's a street art event over there. So we have a video that I'm making and I'm going to upload it on the YouTube channel. So that's how I sustain to promote. I do marketing for myself. And so far, it's been six years now I've been a full-time artist and still ongoing. And right now, what I want to share with you guys is about how to be creative. Because a lot of engineer in here, right? So you try to create product. And then you, you try to sell the product, but people doesn't know about the things that you're going to create. It's, it can be something new. So how you can be creative? To me, for example, if I need to paint an animal, I have to do research on the animal. So if I have to paint a galaxy, I have to watch a lot of documentary of the galaxy, you know? So Discovery Channel, Animal Planet, I, will, I always watch it to get a lot of research stuff. And I have to travel more because when I travel, I can see a lot of things. I can know a lot of things. I can study the culture of the, of the countries. And by traveling also acquired me to learn more on the, how the system works, how, how all the art seen over there, you know? People are really struggle over there. Even they have to buy some art materials, really struggling. So this is part of the thing that, how do I get creative myself? And if I go to, if I'm on the social media, I just flip through everything. If I, have, if I like anything, I just screenshot. And I just like, okay, this is a good research. If I'm really happy or sad, I'm just going to have a small notebook. I'm going to write it up. And when, whenever I want to do a painting, I'm going to open it up, and I read it back, and I get the feeling of it, and I use it for my paintings. So there's a lot of things that I can get creative with, which is like, it can be everything around you. And to me, making art is not like you paint on wall, you do things on the paper. It's actually it's everything, the way you drink coffee, the way you eat burgers. Some people, they just sort it out, the burger, and they eat breakfast, they eat the beef later, something like that, you know? So it's, it's art, you know? The way you drive. Some people just drive normally. Some people just drive like, you know, like Tokyo Drift and all. So uh, to me, this is what art is. So if you are an engineer, doesn't mean that you cannot be an artist. For example, like the one that I saw, a documentary on the, uh, on the History Channel, Harley and Davidson. Harley is the one that making the engine drawing thing. The Davison is the one that's doing the marketing part. I'm not sure he's correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but Holly is the one that's doing the drawing part. Even from the few years back then, I mean like those Leonardo da Vinci, he's the one that's doing the drawing for the human anatomy and all. So you have to have an imagination to do all this. You have to be creative to create stuff or so. So that's the thing that I think you guys should uh, try to learn outside of all the things that you guys studied, being like being an artist for a bit, and 
Lastly, before I end my talk, uh, to me, if you have your passion, if you want to follow a passion, give yourself a timeline. Like myself, I told my parents, give me 10 years to make this happen. If it's not, then I have my plan B. So within these 10 years, just give it all out. Do anything, do everything. Just like whatever I do right now, having a, being a speaker in the TED Talk in Nibong Taba. My first time here also, it's quite far, and I just, yeah, never been to Penang much. And yeah, thank you. And lastly, I think, yeah, give yourself a timeline, and whatever it is, just dream big. Thank you.